It is Sunday night, you guys. It is super late. I am exhausted. I have about this much motivation, but it's time to get into this week's grocery haul. Hey guys, Kira here from 50 Shades of Mom. Back, of course, on a super late Sunday night for my weekly grocery haul and meal plan. I did go to a Walmart today, did not do the grocery store pickup. I wanted to catch up with some Ibotta deals and I actually didn't really think I had too much to get. I really figured this was gonna be a fairly small grocery haul being that tomorrow is Trader Joe's and BJ's. So lots of really good videos coming up this week. I also have the cookbook in my hands. So we're gonna talk a little cookbook at the end during a meal plan, but I really didn't expect to go this crazy. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got. I actually was just chit chatting with my friend Anchor Amber. She was going live on her channel and I was chatting with her and the girls and a bunch of really awesome people while I was setting out my groceries. I actually was complaining how little motivation I had and Zach was like, yo, get your little butt to it, let's go. So I made sure to get my groceries out and get a move in. But Amber had responded and said, hey, I'm putting my grocery haul out at eight o'clock tomorrow morning too. So I said, all right, girl, let's do a collab. So Amber is putting out her Walmart grocery haul and meal plan at the same time as me. So go over and check her out and see what groceries she got and what's on her meal plan. I'll leave her link on the end slate and in the description box. I'm sure you guys have heard me talk about her a bunch of times. We are good friends. We went to Alabama together. We're gonna see each other in a couple of weeks in Savannah. She She's just a really down to earth awesome chick. So go and check her out and show her some love. And I'm gonna take you down and show you what I got for $132 at Walmart. All right guys, so here is a quick overview of what I got at Walmart today. I spent, like I said, $132, but $10 of it was things Jake picked up, which are not pictured here. And there's one item I'll show you guys that they double charged me on my receipt. And I already called them and they said that I can get it refunded when I go back next week. So they owe me four bucks and they know it. So we'll get into that when we get there. I did actually go to Publix just for this Priscilla and you guys I made out like a bandit and I didn't even realize till I got to the car how that happened and I'm just so excited about it because how can you beat Priscilla that you got paid for to take out of the store two intense freshes what so last week these were on sale for $4.99 and then they had a $2 off coupon in their paper which would have made them $2.99 and then there was $2 off on saving star so you can only use the two dollars once so i would have gotten one for 99 cents and i would have paid you know 2.99 so i would have paid two dollars a little bit more than i would have liked to have paid for them because we can get them even cheaper couponing but i still thought that was a great deal because this stuff is like my ride or die but they didn't have the intense fresh it's the only one that's really good i don't really like the plain intense fresh is seriously the bomb um, and this is coming from a gain lover who like is ride or die for gain so the guy gave me a rain check but he wrote the rain check for two for 4.99 so when the guy put the rain check in today for these two Priscils, he gave them for me for $2.50 each and then still got $2 off. So I paid $1.37 for both of them and then put in $2 to Saving Star. So I made $0.63 cents and walked out of the door with two Priscils. So I could not be happier with how that turned out and I cannot wait to do laundry. I'm just saying. Uh, I did get some yellow sticker stuff. What, what, what? That's a great way to start my Walmart, right? Um, so two eleven dollars for these. They're like, it says just yeast rolls, but I want to use them for slider buns. These are a little bit bigger than the King's Hawaiian. I like the King's Hawaiian ones and I like the sweetness of them, but sometimes they're too tiny and my parents are going to be here in a couple of weeks and we're going to do appetizers on Sunday and I thought these would be really good to do like nice size mini cheeseburgers, like make White Castle burgers at home. So I thought my parents would like that. So I picked up those for the freezer 
And then it is my anniversary on Sunday and I wanna make my rolled up flank steak, which is actually one of the recipes in the cookbook. And I could not find good flank steak, but I did find these really good um, sirloin steaks that I could bacon wrap. So I'm gonna look for a flank steak at BJ's tomorrow, but if I can't find it, then we'll have bacon wrapped sirloins instead for our anniversaries. So I got two of those guys and then they did not have Jake's cereal. They were completely sold out of his marshmallow mateys, but they had this new double chocolate brownie crunch. So it seems to be pretty much the same thing. I mean, it's still chocolate cereal with marshmallow. So if he complains, I don't know what to say. Um, I'm pretty sure it was Katie who sent me a message on Snapchat and said when she saw these new Triscuits, she immediately thought of me and I need to get them. So it's avocado, cilantro, and lime. Say what? Yes, that is going to be awesome on my hummus with my tomatoes and parm cheese and so good. I cannot wait. Um, so here is the thing that they double charged me for. They scanned this twice. It was $3.48. So they said that they will give me the $3.48 when I go back. But I just did a cleaning video that I cleaned my bathrooms and I didn't have this. So I'm actually going to edit back in a clip of me going back and adding this in because I am like ride or die for this stuff in my toilet bowl. Two newspapers here, and I'm excited because there's a bunch of regional coupons in there. So I'm going to send Amber the Almay ones that she wants first thing this morning. Um, over there is the Walmart brand of the Sesti Ranch Veggie Straws. I'm going to pick these up instead of the little packets at BJ. So I figured that would save me some money. I picked up another one of these. It's still an Ibotta rebate and... I want to make these on the meal plan coming up for this week, but one pack is not going to do it for my family, so I picked up another one so I can make both. I got a big giant bag of the Mexi Blend cheese. I did shred my own cheese. You guys saw that in my meal prep video, but we only have like maybe this much, and with all the stuff coming up that we do tacos and stuff, I just went and got a giant bag of that. I did get Jake these little Hidden Valley Ranch cups for his launch box. He only has one left. I know I got them from BJ's in New York, but I've yet to see them at my BJ's here. I don't know if maybe I wasn't looking for them because we just weren't ready for them. But I picked them up from Walmart now because he only has one left, so he'll need them for school this week. And if I don't find them at BJ's tomorrow, then he won't have any. So I just picked them up from Walmart now, and then I will scout out my BJ's tomorrow and see what they have. Uh, just two of these meals for the freezer. Jake's been eating them on the weekends, not really taking them to school. Uh, we picked up some bologna. I got the Walmart brand a couple of weeks ago and Jake was okay with it, but not me. Like even Oscar Mayer, I know is not great for you, but for real, like I don't, I haven't eaten really bologna since I was a kid. So when I do eat it, I like long for what I'm used to. And the Walmart bologna was just not good. So I got plain old Oscar Mayer beef bologna. This was an Ibotta rebate and I got it for Jake because I thought he would really like it. It seemed interesting. So it's pizza in a bag and it's pepperoni flavored jerky and it said Supreme Pizza Style and it was $1.50 off of this. So I think I paid 50 cents for this jerky. So I was like, okay, 50 cents for jerky is bomb. So I got this and Jake will try it this week in his lunch boxes. All right, I had to get the cookie butter cream cheese. Madison sent this to me like a while ago and I've been meaning to check for it, but then we were chit chatting on the phone and she was talking about how she made a pumpkin roll once with like cream cheese in the center. And I was like, oh my goodness, what if we put the cookie butter cream cheese in that pumpkin roll? And like my eyeballs blew up in my head. So I'm gonna share that with you guys. I'm gonna make a pumpkin bread and put this cookie butter cream cheese in that. And I bet you that stuff's gonna be bomb. So stay tuned for that. It's gonna be an upcoming video. I'm super excited about that. I only got Jake a small box of Pop-Tarts. I've been really trying with the whole getting my kids to just eat kind of the better ones. And I just, I can't with him. He Now he doesn't even really want the Dollar Tree ones anymore. So I'm at a loss with him. So I just got one small box so that if he sees it in the cabinet, he'll stop annoying me. 
I picked up one thing of the flaky biscuits. I went in for those stupid sweetened Hawaiian ones that Vanessa had in her grocery haul. I wanted them and there's rebates on them and my store didn't have them so I'm stinking sad about that. But I got the regular great value ones because this coming up Saturday, you guys are gonna see my sausage gravy recipe. You guys have been asking me for that like over and over and over again. So I'm gonna film that for you guys for saute Saturday, but I'm also gonna make my biscuit bowls that I made in that food hack and put the gravy in the biscuit bowl and show you guys that. So that's what that is for. Coffee pods for my husband. Two boxes of the Annie's Bunny Pasta. We get the big packs from Bee Gees, but there was a rebate and we don't get this flavor in there. So I got this one for the cabinet. Got some bat brownies for Jacob. I got these raspberry donuts for my husband, which I'm pretty sure are leaking somewhere because I keep feeling sticky stuff and it looks red, even though it looks like the glaze is running. I don't really know, but you guys know I'm always trying to get Daryl his raspberry donuts through the Walmart grocery pickup, and they never have them. And then this one lonely guy was sitting on the end cap. Maybe I shouldn't have grabbed it, but I don't know. I saw glazed raspberry filled donuts. I know that my husband will go crazy for them. So I picked those up for him. I picked four of the Rico's Nacho Cheese Cups up. I've been really missing the Rico's Cheese, so I got those for Football Sunday. I found the Go-Go Squeeze Blast finally at our Walmart. This is the Raspberry Rush, which is apple, raspberry, and cranberry. And then I got the Tropical Burst, which is apple, mango, pineapple, guava, and passion fruit. And these are like the jumbo size ones, and they are really, really loving them. Like, they love them. Like, they love applesauce anyways, but they really, really like these. So, definitely recommend those. This was like a crazy deal. I had a dollar fifty off coupon. Then it was a dollar fifty off on Ibotta, so I paid a dollar uh, thirty nine for these four pack of the Smithsfield chicken biscuits. And actually, Maya likes these for breakfast in the morning, so I got those for her. All right, they came out with the Christmas flavors of the International Delight already. Like, people, we are not even through Halloween, but I had to capitalize on it. They had the peppermint mocha, which is my absolute favorite, like, wintertime one, but I waited on it because I have a lot of pumpkin spice pods right now, and peppermint mocha, mocha creamer is not going to be good in a pumpkin spice coffee. So I got the frosted sugar cookie because I figured that would still complement well, and then once I'm out of, like, my pumpkin pods, then I'll switch over to the peppermint mocha. So that's the coffee creamer. Really long-winded reason for why I bought the frosted sugar cookie, but you know, that's how I roll. Uh, diapers for Maya. This was a Ibotta rebate and we were out of juice boxes, so I just picked them up from Walmart instead of BJ's because you had to buy two. So I just got it this way. So I got one apple juice and one of the Adam and Eve fruit punch. This is really exciting. So I love this Innovation rice, and I actually love the white sticky rice. I turn Leanne over at Grady's mom onto this, and this is new, sizzling garlic rice. So I'm dying to try this. I'm gonna get the regular white sticky rice from Trader Joe's, but I got this garlic one from this brand, because I'm anxious to try that. Uh, got these corn tots. Amber was talking about um, wanting them, and then she picked them up, and ever since she picked them up in her grocery haul last week, I've been, my mouth's been salivating for them. So I picked up the corn veggie tots, picked up a big thing of chicken breasts for dinners this week, picked up one of the um, everything yummy Italian bread, and then I got one of the bowl dippers. These were only 92 cents. And then I got some of the bite-sized tortilla chips. Those were like $1.38. Uh, I'm still going to get the late July chips from BJ's, but again, it's football season. And every week I buy one bag, and then we go through it by Wednesday. And then everybody's looking for more chips throughout the week. So that's why I got a bunch of extra ones. And then I did get one loaf of artesano bread. I normally get my bread from the DT and it like kills me to spend money on bread, but there was a rebate and I really love this artesano bread. It is so delicious. We got it one time at the DT, but that was such a rare occasion. I have not ever seen it again. And this stuff is bomb, you guys. It's just thick and delicious and I really, really love it. So being that there was and I bought a rebate and then I was there anyway and it really wasn't that expensive of a price. I think I paid $2. So wasn't the end of the world but that is it that is what I got for my $132 minus all that other stuff and now we will talk cookbook and get into the meal plan 
All right, guys, you're in my freezer. Why? Because I forgot to show you guys the chocolate fudge brownie ice cream that we got. This thing was like melting all over the place and turning into milkshakes. So I stuffed it into the freezer until I was ready to film and I forgot about it. So this was included in my $132 as well. So that makes it better, right? Okay, guys, so here's a little sneak peek at the cookbook. I'm so excited. You guys will get your chance to purchase this and pre-order it this week. So stay tuned for that. I'm really excited. I actually don't even mind showing you guys this. I'm not blowing the surprise because we've changed all of this stuff and moved some stuff around and whatever. So I'm super excited though. Here's a little like skimming sneak peek at the colored pages of it all. OMG. Yes. So this is really awesome, you guys. Like, uh, I need to say that this is probably one of the most amazing things that has ever happened in my life is to be able to stand next to these two beautiful ladies and be able to work hard and put something like this out. As I've said a thousand times, Vanessa's the real MVP here. But, I mean, it's a cookbook, you guys. Like, it's definitely the coolest thing I've ever done in my life. So... Uh, and I have a really awesome week to share with you guys. So this is the meal plan for October the 15th through the 21st. So Monday, really big day. Like I said, Trader Joe's and BJ's were having pineapple bacon burgers. That's actually one of the recipes in the cookbook. So stay tuned for that if that sounds good to you because these are bomb. And we're just going to do that with macaroni and cheese and a Mexican street corn on the cob. I haven't done the Mexican street corn in so long so I'm dying for that. Tuesday we're going to do chicken roll-ups. That is actually another recipe in the cookbook. I didn't even think about that and I have a cooking video for that so I'll link that above and in and in the description box. Oh my goodness I can't even talk and we're going to have that with chips and queso and salsa. Wednesday is my breakfast biscuit bowls. That's when I'm going to make that sausage gravy and film that for the next saute Saturday with omelets and fresh fruit. On Thursday, we're going to do Chinese food from Trader Joe's. I'm going to pick it up there tomorrow just so I can have not a lot of cleanup and it's an easy dinner I don't really have to think about because Friday is my birthday and I'm so excited. I have some friends coming in from Florida that are going to go and spend some time with me. We're going to go out to dinner and we're going to want to do some karaoke. So I'm excited about what kind of shenanigans we can get into on Friday night. Paul's coming to watch the kids so that Daryl and I could go out and spend our night with our friends. So I'm excited. But during the day, we're going to, I think I'm going to surprise Jake and I'm going to hold him from school. I normally would never do that, but he hasn't missed one day yet all year. And I really want to do some apple picking and pumpkin picking and stuff. And it's hard to do that around here when it's the weekend because the places get stupid busy. And then it's really hard to manage with all of my kids. So this is going to be nice if we could spend the day together and then I'll be able to go out at night. So I'm excited about that. It's going to be a wonderful day. And then on Saturday, I'm trying a new recipe, which is caramel chicken. That sounds very fall. And if this turns out good, I will film it for you guys and share it sometime in November. And we're going to do that with roasted potatoes and that rainbow cauliflower from Trader Joe's. And then on Sunday is my six year wedding anniversary. So we actually didn't plan that exactly on purpose. We had pushed our wedding back. We were supposed to get married on November the 4th, but my grandfather passed away and it just changed the timing of things. So we ended up pushing it back a whole year. And the best weekend was Sunday the 21st. This is actually, we got married on a Sunday. So that'll actually, you know, with leap year and stuff, it's almost like a full it has come full circle, but we chose a Sunday and this was the best Sunday for us to do it. And it worked out perfect because now if my husband forgets my birthday and or our anniversary and they're two days apart, he's a dead man. So here's the night that we are going to do that stuffed flank steak, like I said. And if I can't 
get it from BJ's, then I'll bake and wrap those sirloins. And we're gonna do mashed potatoes with cream corn. That is it, guys. That is this week's meal plan. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to go over and check out Anchor Amber. Send her some love. Check out and see what she has on the meal plan for the week. If I have any videos or recipes for anything, as always, they will be attached in the description box below. Stay tuned, you guys. The cookbook is coming this week. Trader Joe's, BJ's, a really banging Dollar Tree haul. Like, so much fun stuff coming up. So give this video a big thumbs up. I love you guys all so much, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.